family is mourning the loss of their 19 year old son after he was killed in a head on collision in Granville County. The crash happened along Belltown Road between Stem and Oxford when a car was attempting to pass a school bus. WRL's Brett Neese shows us how the tragedy is impacting that community. Behind me is Belltown Road. This is the stretch where that crash happened yesterday morning. Family and friends of Kron Siplin tell me a world without him is a little less bright. Emergency crews moved fast once the call came in. I'm en route to 1050 on Belltown. Apparently there's some students involved. Close to Smith Road right on the left. Officials tell us a car with two 17 year olds was attempting to pass a Granville County school bus here. It was a no passing zone for their direction. They hit 19 year old Kron Siplin's car head on. Siplin died from his injuries. On social media, family and friends are posting some of their favorite memories with him. His father owns Siplin's Finger Lickin' Restaurant. A post from their Facebook account shares they will be closed for the rest of the week due to the unforeseen and devastating loss. Hundreds of comments under the post offering condolences and prayers for the family. The two 17-year-olds involved in the crash were taken to the hospital. They attend Granville Central High School. The school bus they were attempting to pass was from Granville Early College. School officials tell me they have extra counselors and other staff at both schools to help students. Kids, of course, are upset about what happened with their classmates. Um, you know, the other person involved is a member of our community. So they are there are some people who know that person and, and of course are impacted by that as well. I spoke with Siplin's mother earlier today. She lives just a little bit further up the road. She tells me she's grateful for the community's support. She also tells me that her son was an incredible person who had a positive impact on so many people's lives. In Granville County, Brett Neese, WRL News. We're also working to learn if the 17-year-old driver will face any charges from the crash.